Oh my god, no, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Slide for the Sky Dragon, back for another unboxing video. We're doing something new today. My girl bought a Fago box. This is my girl, Miss Jaguar. What's up, everybody? So, we're gonna open the Fuego box. She got this double pack kind of deal. I think she showed it. She only showed one. But there's actually two boxes here. So, it's from Fuego Box. So we like sauce. We are a hot sauce family. We got six boxes of fiery goodness in here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, here. You do it. Oh, I get to do it's it. It's your box. Yeah. yeah, I get to put it in the knife. Yeah, she gets to cut it open. Let's do it. Get it. Let's get it. Mm. Speaking of getting it, I'm not even gonna light them if you got them. Ask. Light them if you got them. <laughs> Y'all know what goes down in our videos. Don't be acting. Don't be acting. Or whatever the damn phrase is nowadays. Okay, this knife sucks. Holy crap. Really? Lady? It's probably just because it's cutting sticky tape. There we go, we got it. Hey, I already got it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> There's your pink scissors. Anyways, pink scissors. Pur pink, purple. Leave a comment. I think it's pink. Might be purple. Whatever. Are you colorblind? I asked you that before. I think you are. I am not color fucking blind. Colorblind. Green? Blue. That's Pink. actually red. Well, this is actually fuchsia, I believe, right? It's pink, honey. Let it go. Okay, whatever. <laughs> it's pink, honey. All right, so back in number one. Uh, whatever, it's up to you. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Eeny, meeny, miny, Leave a comment down in the section which one first. Even leave though by the time you, below. by the time you watch this, we're already opening it. So I guess she's going with that one. Is that the one with the label on it? I guess that's the one with the label on it. That we scratched off the label. Oh. I should probably be showing this yeah. failure of opening a package on video, right? Yeah. Here. There we go. Everybody can see the package, that's the whole point, right? She's gonna stab me in the face with these scissors right now. <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. There's like a lot more room than it shows. Quit crying. Mm -hmm. It's just a little stab wound. Gosh, get over it. Ah! Oh, uh, what'd you do? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whoops. I flipped it to the front of the house. It's kind of dirty over there. Time to edit. My bad. Got to see uh, the oh, yeah. front side I'm of the house. I'm not used to this whole camera thing. This is the first video I've ever done, so quit judging right. me. You're fine, you're fine. Leave your comments down below. <laughs> <laughs> Talk shit down below, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, about me, obviously. So anyways, here's the Fuego box. I don't know, I guess they're... Isn't it beautiful? It's a mountain Fuego box. It's so we're gonna open it up and we're gonna see what's inside. Back side says Fuego Box. You know, not sponsored by Fuego Box, but Okay, I don't like the anticipation, so dun 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 And they're all backwards. Oh wow. Alright. Let's see what we got. Turn these forward here. I don't remember the ratings of the heat level, but they're all supposed to be pretty Can fiery. You, you need to come in the video. Okay. So here we go. We the got Fuegos. So actually, you already showed him, so you can put him down and show him individually, okay. just so it's not all, or like all. So this hot sauce, the Gold Coast hot sauce, it's the original Fatali hot sauce. Fatalis are super hot. Just so you know. We have another. Make you is, cry. That, is that the other one that we have? We don't have a Fatali one. In no, that hot one. What's the other hot one? That oh, have? that was a Carolina Reaper. No, oh. they're not as hot as a Carolina Reaper. All right, Reaper. so she's going to open that, and we are going to take this spoon, and we're going to try some. We don't have any food. This is a, actually a... It's just a taste test. This is a, a beta taste test. We're actually going to try and come table. up with maybe like a... I need a, to get a new camera. Yeah. We need to get an actual camera. What we need to do is get a new computer with a good camera, and I actually have a good camera. I just don't have a good computer for it. But... So it's Gold Coast hot sauce. What is that? The Bay Bridge or the, the Coastal I Bridge? I don't know which don't bridge know that which is. Bridge. Original Fatali hot sauce, five ounces. So this is the first one out of the Fuego box. So she's gonna open that up. I'm actually gonna bring a better knife so we can get through this shit. Do you 
really not put those little perforations on here? What the heck? There you go. Oh, I got it. Oh, all right. Also, art if you like knives, they're not, we're not sponsored by Cuisinart, but. Mm -hmm. I got those from Costco. They're nice. If you want a really <laughs> good knife, Cuisinart knives, they're really good. All right. Here so, we here we go. Um, how gold it is, and it's not beautiful. So, we got some Costco waters here. Also got. Ooh, it smells like it's good taste. Good. The Red Bulls. Hopefully, we don't get uh, demonetized for. Red Bull. So, wait, 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 wait. What? Ooh. What does it nice. say that the ingredients are? Oh, this one has a short list, so I'll read it. Mango, bell pepper, sweet onion, fatality pepper, vinegar, salt, and garlic. Ooh. It's actually a more mild sauce, even though fatalities are super hot. Don't. Me first? You first? Are you with sissy? I'm not a sissy, sissy but... <laughs> I wish I had... Don't you know cry. What? Hold okay. on. Oh, shoot. And then I go and cry. <laughs> I'm not trying to cry. I'm looking for something. Oh my god, it's so good. It was. I haven't opened these yet. These are brand new. So it's slightly fruity. Oh, well, here. That's all you have. Okay. I don't, what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> what the heck? Jesus. Ah! Yeah, that's the last time I hand you a bottle. <laughs> mm. These hot sauces, by the way, I should point out, are on the pricier side. Mm. Anywhere Wait. from Wait. seven to ten bucks a piece. Oh my god, but And if you buy so... six at a time, you get free shipping. Oh my lord. And trust me, you want to do the free shipping if you can afford it. If you can it's afford good, it. Right? If you can't afford it, don't do it. Unless you like special sauces, but these are like Oh my lord, that is so, kind of spicy. This one is true to its rating. It's really not that spicy. It's just a sissy lala. Shut up. <laughs> she just likes super fiery stuff. I like hot stuff. Yeah, I like stuff. cocky crab, so yeah. you know. I guess but it does kinda, right now on camera. It does linger, it does linger. This one has preparations. Mm -hmm. Volcanic peppers. Oh, no, I guess shit. I should show you guys first. No, say it what it is. Zesty Aleppo pepper sauce. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Aleppo, I don't know. But that's what it says. Comment down below. Let us know what it what it is. Here, you do this part because I can't get it right. Volcano peppers. Zesty. No, show them. I already said it. I know, I just I wanna see the <laughs> bottle first. So it's volcano peppers. Is that number two? Number five. Number five. Zesty Aleppo pepper sauce. So we're gonna go with that one. It's a little Is bit that? darker. This one's like on the lighter side. It's more on like the yellowishy side. So I'm noticing this is all backwards on here. Does that change when you post the video? I hope so. I can't, yeah, this is really my first time doing Because I can't transparent the letters through the video, so I hope. So this one, you know, the site had it rated as being one of the spicier ones, but I see on the side that, that it has its own rating on it. And it's kind of low, so it's more on we'll the like. See. It's more on the like. Mild it's probably going to be spicy, but not hot. Like this one had like a little bit of like a, a lingering effect. Like, I can still even feel it right now. It's not hot, and it's not super spicy, but it's, like, tingly, and, like, if you like hot sauce, it's super... If you like a lot of flavor, that West Coast Gold is really good. Yeah. Gold Coast. Gold Coast. Gold Coast. Oh, I thought I said West Coast. Gold Coast. Gold Coast dyslexic ass. Whatever. Shut up. Let's see. What do we got in this one? I'm looking for the ingredients here. Okay, now we get to ingredients I can't pronounce. Let's see. Ingredients. Vinegar, onion, water, peppers, tomato, garlic, lemon, juice, sugar, black pepper, sea salt, tur... Wow, why does yeah. that sound like something you don't want to eat? <laughs> like a poison? 
Tur turmeric, 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 turmeric. And I think the next one's san xanthan. Xanthan gum? gum. Something like that. Why, I don't know. Why does that sound like something you would put in like the cockroach pesticide <laughs> shit? Does. You would fucking kill animals and, and bugs with, you know? Well, I'm not gonna read ingredient lists anymore because don't. Yeah. That is wow. I can't believe. That, that clock just scares me when it goes off because I think it's like weird. An animal like, inside no, the house? No, like demons. Because I'm not. I, we have this bird clock. Oh god, leave the bird clock alone. See the, see the, see the bird clock right Here, there. Peppers. We're talking about peppers. Every hour it does a different bird sound. So, anyways, we're going. We're going, <laughs> we're going with the Terminex sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hopefully we don't terminate right now. <clears throat> so. Oh, wow. You want me to take this one? Yeah, you do that one first. Tell Wait, me. I didn't smell it. It doesn't smell bad. Well, it does smell oniony and garlicky. It does for okay. sure. And if I will take mine on a chip. Mm. It almost oh. tastes like... It almost tastes like an A1 sauce with a kick, but a little bit more tangy. Do you, can you taste that? It's not really fiery. It's like a steak sauce. Yeah, so I guess the bottle is pretty accurate. Yeah, it's not, it, yeah, it's not hot. I would still put this on a steak. Yeah. It tastes like a steak it's sauce It's not like a steak a sauce. Ooh. But I'm not like overall thrilled with that one. Mm. I don't know. Sometimes I'll try it and... A couple days later, we'll try it again. She'll be like, oh my god, I love it. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, just give it a couple days. Let us in the fridge for a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting no fire from that. I'm getting no this one. tang. So that one, this, this one is pretty... Uh, it's very mild, like it says on the bottle. Like that, that is like, yeah, that's pretty damn accurate. Yeah, the Gold Coast one had a little bit more zing to it, and I am going to drink a Red Bull. Oh my god. Get us demonetized, why don't you? But anyways... You said it first. So. I know. So this Gold Coast one, this is the one, this is the better one out of the first three. So now I'm excited about this one. It's called Food's Best Friend Lucky Dog. What? And the flavor heats a peach. Uh oh. It's Trinidad Scorpion hot sauce with peaches and roasted garlic. Oh. This whoa. one is supposed to be a little bit more fiery. So we'll see. I I might cry a little bit on this one if it's Eats what and they're peaches. Promising. X hot. And it's got a little scorpion down on the bottom. So anytime you see scorpions, you know some bad shit is about to happen. <laughs> right. So this one's uh what is it? Food's best friend, Lucky Dog. It's got a picture of a dog on the front with some peaches on it. Heat's a peach. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Let's do it. Right, I thought for a second that... Dandy dandy perforations makes it so easy. I, <clears throat> I, had, uh, I had a thought right now that it was going to come back for a second, but I was like, no, that has to be the, the Gold Coast one. Like, you know how sometimes some hot oh, sauces, like, like at season. first, they, yeah. they're like, eh, but then, like, a second after they sit in your mouth for a minute, and your mouth's, like, your eyes start to water, and you're like, holy crap, where'd that shit come from? Okay, I'm going to read this ingredient list. I know I said I wasn't going to read anymore, but mm. peaches, which is peaches, water, pear juice from concentrate, so really that's not peaches, I don't know why they would say that, cider vinegar, carrots, water, roasted garlic, sea salt, granulated garlic, powdered onion, Trinidad scorpion peppers, and pepper. So, there's a lot of peach in this. Or so they say. Mmm, I don't know. That, I am not gonna go off of the smell of this one, because it smells very strange, and I don't know that I really like it. I want to say something, but I don't, I don't want you to I start laughing. I think I know laughing. what you're gonna say, because... I'm thinking something kind of strange too, but wow, that is distinctly familiar. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. To, to something not that you would want to put in your mouth for damn sure. Oh my god, that's not like baby shit. Yeah, to you. that's what I was gonna say. 
baby my shit <laughs> hella smells like baby shit like not I mean I guess not in a bad way I don't think food. I could try this one I don't know that's just that no yeah. I don't know Ooh, see wow. it made me drop the spoon that's how bad it is <laughs> Are you gonna wash that before you use it again? No. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to because I will be right back if I don't knock shit over. Alright. There you go. I'm gonna try the baby shit. Take one for the team. <laughs> I'm gonna take one for the team and try the baby shit dog food. Because obviously dog food doesn't taste good, so thinking Lucky Dog, I mean, you would think it would like smell or taste something like dog food. Disappointing. Wow. Is, is it good or is it? That shit is hot. Is it really? Does it taste like baby yeah. shit? <laughs> you can taste it off of that and just lick it. Oh. <coughs> I breathed it in. Right? <coughs> for the, oh my god. For the it smell? It doesn't smell good, but that tastes really good. Yeah, like it doesn't smell and it's awesome, got but. It's got a nice burn to it. Instant burn. It's one of those instant burns. I just washed this, by the way. Yeah, don't breathe in yeah, while you're... Don't <laughs> inhale while you're tasting this. If you do go to... I wouldn't put a lot of fire in. I know, honey. I'm trying. Actually, it tastes really good. I can it still does. taste it. I know. I'm just saying. It's hot. Careful. I can already feel like my heartburn coming on. Mm. It's actually a really good flavor, and it's not, it's not as, um, fruity as I thought it might be. It's more tangy. Which I'm glad I wasn't really wanting a whole lot of fruitiness. That's tangy, it and that would be, uh, we'd have to actually fruity. look up the, uh... <laughs> it's a nice, mellow burn, though. It's not... And it creeps in a little bit more hotter. Just don't breathe it in. That, yeah, that's don't. the kicker right there. I mean, you can breathe in after. Just don't do it initially when you do it. Because when your like, throat opens up and you're trying to eat it at the same time, it's... So, Lucky Dog heats a peach. It's good stuff. It's good stuff, but it smells like baby shit. <clears throat> yeah, and I was pretty excited for that one. And then she almost decided she wasn't going <laughs> to taste it. But after I tasted it, because I was like... for the team. I was like, I have to do it because I need to know what it tastes like like how hot it is because eventually after we do this is like a like a beta video we wanted to just try a bunch of sauces because she buys these a lot like i mean i wish i would have thought of this sooner because i have a whole collection of sauces now yes oh oh honey what are you doing wait let's just focus on these first no i know hold on but I'm just saying, like, do you see how many different, <laughs> like, hot sauces? Like, we, we could have made, like, a whole show by now. Like, which one was the one that was the super hot? Did I not even grab no, that one? No, you didn't grab that. I keep it separate so nobody grabs it accidentally. Oh, my God. I gotta see. I gotta show that one. Because I know no. that one is, like, my super kill. Which one is that? That's this one, right? Yeah. The Lucky Dog isn't as hot as this Reaper one he's about to show you. Oh, my God, it's, dude. This it's pretty is... close. Wow, dude, if you really want to, like, burn <laughs> the, like, feeling, like, the, like, sensors in your mouth, this shit and right here will... if you want to cry. <laughs> like, that, that was, that's still lingering. Yeah, that's good stuff. This shit right here, this is called the Reaper Evil Hot Sauce by, what is that, what is that, Torch what? Torchbearer Sauces. This is Torchbearer Sauces Reaper Evil Hot Sauce. And this is the Carolina Reaper right here. It this has right here. good flavor. It's kind of um, a little bit smoky with like pepper and. Um, I am not gonna try this right garlic. now. Not with this. Not with what we're doing right now. It's. Whew. It's a slow burn. It comes. It doesn't come on quick. It comes on kind of slow. Ooh, but it lingers for a long time. But the flavor is really good. So. You know. So she's gonna go ahead and get that second box going, open. Wow, I put all the sauces back in the kitchen. If you can hear me from that far away. Alright, Honda McLean. Let's see. You want this? 
Um, actually, the scissors were better, so I don't All right. stab you in the throat or anything. No, she don't want to stab me in the throat, but she like might cut my ear off, like when, you know. So I'm gonna take a five because that is wow. That's pretty good, huh? That baby shit lingered. <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> like what happens if you leave a shitty diaper open in your house. That smell is going <laughs> to fucking linger for days. At least it and doesn't so taste that, like it. Thank God for that. Because that's like... Right? Like when yeah. you smell it, you're just like, holy crap, really? This does not smell like something I want to eat. Holy crap, it smells like crap. Right? It's like, ah, this does not smell like something I should be putting in my mouth. But then okay. you do and it's like... Box number two. Box number two. The Fuego box. Mm -hmm. Again. I can't remember what I... Oh, here's one I'm excited for in here. Oh, so, that means it might be a hot one. I think it is. It's supposed to be kind of hot. It's not gonna, It shouldn't be as hot as the Trinidad. Oh, my God. Oh, they got little cards in this one. Oh, why didn't they put it in other? Oh, uh, maybe it just okay, came let's in Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, love hot sauce. Here's a $10 gift box bonus just for you. $10 credit. Join the number one hot sauce club. Don't show the whole thing because it's got a code on it. Oh. You can show what Shoot, it looks that like. Ruin it? No, you just oh. the sideways, but I'm just saying don't okay. show it so they don't use your code. I didn't code. see that till the very end. We're going to use this code one. to get more sauces, so that's cool. Right. And then these are... So, oh, only two of them got... Okay, so I'm not going to bother with the cards. They're just descri description cards of the for sauces. the hot sauces, but only certain ones get them. I don't know why. Uh, I haven't figured that part out yet. I think these might be exclusives. I think that's what this might be. Cause it's, Maybe. Because it, it tells you about... Back. It tells you about the creator, like this one says, created by the owner of Splash Splash Cafe, Pismo, Pismo Beach. <clears throat> I don't even know how to say that damn word. Rockus Dockus. Rockus Dockus is a special hot sauce. I, I, guess, I guess that's what we're doing right now. That's the one we're about to do since I'm reading it. It is a special hot sauce in that it is focused on a rare pepper. The... Bulgarian carrot pepper. Yeah, I've been trying to grow that forever, and every time it gets to decent size, something stupid happens, and I have to get rid of the plant. So, so now like, I get to try it in the sauce. It says an heirloom. What the hell does that say? Varietal. I don't know. I don't know. Heirloom, varietal, variational, whatever the hell, grown in the sunny central coast of California. It has a bright and fruity flavor, accompanied by a gorgeous color. Is, Dacus is, is nice the here. botanical genius of the carrot and essential partner in this recipe, containing the perfect balance of heat and tang. Okay. Dacus Dacus, a.k.a. the rowdy carrot, is an addictive everyday sauce your food wants. It says try it <coughs> on, and then it gives you a list of stuff to try it on. Uh, eggs, tacos, steaks, soups, seafood, oysters, or pretty much anything makes a great marinade. Okay, well, he read all that, but I'm actually going to make you guys wait till last to try that one, because that's the one I was looking forward to, other than the peach one. So we're going to try the Jersey Barn Fire first. I think it's just supposed to be a medium heat, if I remember correctly. But it's a, it's kind of a, a taco flavored sauce. So, um, it says smoked ghost taco, scary good on all your Mexican food, eggs, fries, and more. Jersey barn fire hot sauce. Let's see if I can get this. There you go. That looks great. That has a nice color so, to it too. It does. It has a very nice color. I know the video seems a little like you're only getting half of her half the time. But it's only because I'm using my old iPad to do this video because I thought my phone wouldn't be wide enough. Yeah, this was a whole different kind of opening. It had a twist tie. No, nope. I think you still got to go more on the plastic. Huh? You relax. Okay, relax. I need to relax. <laughs> I need to relax a lot. Yeah, that's 
That smells like you want to put it on a taco. <laughs> really? That's so rude. Oh, yeah. <coughs> what does that remind you of? I, think, I was thinking the same thing. <coughs> it cleared my nose up, definitely. Mm -hmm. It's some other sauce that's out there. Taco Bell hot sauce. Taco Bell? That's what it reminds me of. Probably. I don't use Taco Bell hot sauce either, <coughs> but yeah, no, you know, I could kind of see that. That reminds me of like a Taco Belly, maybe like the fiery sauce. You want to go or first like or you want me to go first? Um, I'll go first on this one, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm trying. I don't want to... Right there! Holy crap! Serious? Relax. Oh my lord. Don't cry. Dr drizzle a little bit on this and then you can eat the rest. All these sauces are different. Some are like thinner than others. Some are super thick and chunky, so... When you're trying to pour it, you never know if it's how gonna come fast out. it's yeah. going to come out of the bottle. So you don't want to just tilt it. Tilt the bottle because it'll fucking... If it's chunk with water and the water pours out first and you're like, Oh, let me pour it, tilt it a little more. Ooh. It's a little more fiery than I expected. I breathed it in again. That didn't help. That's really good. I don't know. You think fire? Because I breathed it in. It has smoked ghost pepper in it. Oh, that means it's gonna. <coughs> <laughs> Whoops. That means it's gonna creep up. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> God damn, as soon as that shit hit my throat, like halfway down, the that initial really burn good. kicked in, and I was like, oh shit, okay. Yeah. It's not too bad, it's really good. It's. And that is like cool, a. Though. And that is a taco sauce. Like, if you're like taco. I, I would buy that again. Burrito. I haven't even tried it on food, and I know I would buy that one again. Hell yeah, dude. Mm. That is really good. And like, like, it takes a few seconds. It takes like 30 seconds, but once mm. your taste buds catch it, man, that was hot. And there's so many layers to it. Did you notice the flavors go in layers? Mm -hmm. like, I, I can't What's even it? describe it. It's like... Scary good. All your Mexican food, eggs, fries, and more. That would be so good on a breakfast burrito. Oh, scary good on all your Mexican foods, eggs, fries, and more. So it says, our mission is simply to make the best tasting locally produced and sourced food products. We use all locally grown produce whenever available. Our sauces are, our sauces and seasonings enhance the food you eat without covering its flavor. What is in this? I don't know, but tomatoes, white vinegar, water, apple cider, vinegar, sugar, smoked ghost peppers, salt, spice, garlic powder, onion powder, xanthan gum. It's like a preservative, I think. I guess that's the... It holds it all together. Yeah, it holds the com the composition together. Mm, my mouth is still burning. It's so nice. Tomato, yeah. I was going to say, it's not like... Mm. Like that... That... That Carolina Reaper over there. Like that one. Oh my god, dude. You're like not even pouring that shit in your food. Like if you're eating a taco, you literally want to have like a little sauce cup and like dip and eat because you don't want to pour that shit directly in your taco i mean unless you love like the stupid fire like i'm talking about this thing is like stupid fire the extra hot it's hot 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 yeah like this one right here this is a what sauce right here uh ghost, the ghost pepper. pepper this is a ghost pepper ghost peppers are usually That's what I was super say. ass hot and it was i mean not super hot but i mean it was but that Reaper, reapers are super hot the ghost peppers are too but but not as. They have a different taste, and I don't really care for the Carolina Reaper as much as I like the ghost flavor. That like the, the Carolina sauce. Reaper is more like a um, like a steak sauce. Like if you're gonna marinate and you want to get like a good spicy marinade, you, you throw a couple of spoons of the Carolina Reaper in with your sauce that uh, basically has the same. Like if you're doing like a garlic or whatever, I don't know exactly what's in it. But if your sauce kind of mimics the flavors that are in the Reaper, you throw like a spoonful or two in your sauce and you marinate your meat and you get some spicy ass steak sauce. So that's 
So this one, this is not, yeah, we're still Sorry, not, we're still not back at that other one, but here's the, God, my nose is running, holy shit. This has a heat meter on it. Oh, but I don't it? know. I don't know. JB's heat meter. So one is warm. Uh, two, three, and four is getting hotter. And then five is fire. So it's down here at the bottom. But I don't know if, it, if they're talking about the one on the front. Because if there's only, there's only one fire on the front. So I'm thinking maybe this is one of our milder sauces. I don't know. I think... That with the fire thing is actually just it to mimic this. That's just in the title. Maybe. I mean, it's not. It's not too hot. It's not too. It's not unbearable. But it says five star or five flame fire. Like it's giving it a five a five star flame, five flame flame star. What the hell do they call that? Five flame meter. <laughs> well, that's the meter, but it's like the five flame meter. So it says five flame meter. It is hot. Do not get me wrong. It's hot. You definitely don't want to just consume the bottle by itself because you the definitely will have a heart attack. flavor is excellent. So. so, now we got, it's called Das Good. We'll see if Das Good stuff, right? You want to read the card or you want me no, to read it? No, I don't want to read that. That's boring. <clears throat> Let me see. Let's see. So, in 2015, Nick Trevino created Das Good Spice Company out of a passion for spice and began selling his hot sauce at local events in Galveston, Texas, a favorite for garlic friends, Daz Good, now award-winning garlic habanero hot sauce, has a balanced combination of garlic, carrots, peppers, and spices. This everyday hot sauce goes with almost any food and is great for cooking like all Daz Good Spice Company products. This sauce is huge on flavor without overwhelming with heat and vinegar. So we'll see. It does have a meter of its own. You can see that, but the little peppers, so those and there's three of them, it says hot. So we'll see. So it's got a five, a four, <coughs> four pepper rating, and it's got three. <coughs> three. Oh, that last one, yeah, we can cough. Move your finger, can't see. Yeah, so you it's got, got it. a four. Yeah. Maximum is four peppers. So this one has a three pepper rating. And uh, it says uh, goes good on tacos, nachos, omelets, chili, gumbo, pizza, fried shrimp, ramen, and wings. Add to melted butter and pour over popcorn for an awesome spicy snack. So the reason I picked this one, like I said before, I love ghost peppers. I love the flavor of them. Damn, but I also love habaneros, and they're not the hottest or the hot, but I think flavor is more important to me than the heat. Right. Because um, there are some so peppers is, that just don't taste good, but they're spicy as shit, and then there's some that taste really good that just aren't spicy. So I picked this one to let the habanero really shine through, and hopefully it'll live up to my expectations. Because there's the only other pepper in this one is a bell pepper. Oh, Way to wake the baby. Huh? <laughs> Oops. Shit, I should be okay. Yeah. He's been kind of doing that for a minute. Okay, let's see what we got here. Hold on. Let me. Um... Oh, I didn't even smell. It. Does it smell like baby shit. No. It... <laughs> Sorry. My it bad. smells like. I can kind of smell it from here. It smells like a pizza factory. Oh, watch your hand. Don't you rub your eyes with that. I know. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going in. Oh, she went in. She went all in. You know what? I don't like it. You don't? I don't like it. Why? Taste it. No, 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 over here. I mean, it might change later. I'll give it a second chance later on. It's not what I was expecting. Okay. It's not that hot either. So it's not a hot one. Apparently. It's not hot. It tastes like it tastes like mashed potatoes with like peppers in it or something. I don't know. It's weird. 
You're right. That's what that flavor was, like garlic mashed potato. It does. Yeah. See, I'm not tripping. And it's not hot, and it's not even come on hot, like later you know on. What? That. That maybe that's the carrots in it. Carrots is a second ingredient, so maybe that's the carrots that. Well, that is what I'm tasting. It wasn't potatoes. It was like garlic and carrots. Oh, I'll give it a second. Taste here. Mm. <laughs> really? But, um. Yeah, I am not impressed by this one. Mm. And it's not hot. No, the, at all. the flavors aren't. I don't think the flavors were balanced correctly. They aren't balanced. I mean, it would be a good sauce if the flavors were balanced correctly. I think the carrot is like super duper super strong, so it's like yeah. got that like carroty. Like, the carrot is too much. It's overwhelming. It's like a mashed carrot, kind of mashed potatoey kind of taste. Mm. It would be good. It would be good on mashed potatoes too. It probably I would. I would put it on like maybe like a chicken dinner with like mashed potatoes and green beans and that sort of thing. Maybe even um, Thanksgiving. Okay, now I'm getting it. Yeah. No, now I'm getting it. Wait a second. Oh, the heat. Wait, a, you gotta wait a second. Yeah. I got nothing. I got it. Unless it's from one of these other ones. It's hard to tell. It comes on for a second and then it goes away. I don't know why. Unless it's lingering, unless it's making one of these other ones, like, pop. It takes a long minute and then it comes in and then it's like hot for a second. Like, not even hot, it's like spicy for a second and then it's gone. It's like, well, it's like, uh, uh. That's it was like a not letdown. as good as I... It, it was, it thought was, it was gonna be. It was like getting late and not getting off. It was like, ah. It, what did you just say? It was like getting like, late and not getting <laughs> off. It's like, ah. ah, ah. It's like getting true. blue balls, like not. You know oh, what I'm right saying? Then. But anyways, that yeah. So Daz good is not good. Is <laughs> Daz good is all bad. Daz good is not as good as I thought. And then the last one we have is the. Rockets, the rockus I think that's how it's pronounced. I don't know. I could be saying it completely wrong. Or rockus, rockus, Something like that. What is that? First? But it's the What's that red word? Rock, I can't really read something. The oh, ca caliente. One. Caliente. Sorry, I can't see right now. Like I'm, my eyes. Like my eyes are like. Okay, give me that sauce. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> See that shit? <laughs> Fuck what her hot sauce, she'll fucking rip your eyes out. You better believe it. Or my Red Bulls, give me that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was not even gonna see the that. The hell? Dude. What makes you think I'm not gonna see that shit? Well, you didn't <laughs> see it when I grabbed it, apparently, until I was already. It's trying to make me into a. No, I was already like mid drink video. already. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. this one's super thin. Yeah, that last one, the Dawes Good habanero, mm -hmm. was a chunky sauce, but it had like a, it's, it was almost like vinegar or something with uh, carrot chunks in it. it I don't like, know. It was like, just like mashed like carrots. Fine ground carrots. Yeah. It was like too much carrot. This one, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Yeah. You can see how it's like liquidy? Liquid. Yeah. So let's see. So whatever you do, do not tilt the bottle over when you buy it. Don't don't just so tilt the bottle over because you'll pour like half the bottle on your one taco. Ingredient list: vinegar, carrots, carrot peppers, oops, rice, vinegar, which is water, rice, sugar cane, really, salt, serrano peppers, and sugar. Serrano peppers were good. Yeah, so some we'll of the see. different ones are pretty spicy. I got a heat meter on it somewhere? No. But man, it's a nice color. It's all orange. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Or not, so once we get like a, once we get everything kind of rolling, we usually get one or one or two boxes a month. Um, uh -huh. no. Well, this subscription comes every three months. Ah. But this isn't the subscription. This was actually the Memorial Day sale they had. Oh, so and our subscription box hasn't so even I got, came yet. Yeah, I got 20, 
Well, yeah, I came recently, so we gotta wait another three months. Oh, wow. But, uh, we got to buy some more of them for sure. But, uh, oh, were you gonna smell it? Go ahead, say what you're gonna say. I forgot. Oh, I got 20% off of all of these, and because I bought six, I got free shipping. Why so. does that smell like carrots, too? Because there's carrots in it. Oh, okay. So there's another carrot one, but this is just not as chunky. I will take a chip. Here comes uh -oh. my daughter. Oh, sorry, kiddo. Right through the video. Come on in. Ah! Come in. And the dog. You can sneak around that way if you don't want to be in it. And the dog. Yeah, you can sneak around the front way. Give me Whoops. carrot sauce. Wake your brother up, why don't you? He's asleep. Still. I don't know what I think of that. You know what you have to do? You have to lick it and then lick the roof of your mouth while it's on your tongue. Yeah. It's very... It's very vinegar forward. I like this one better I than like that this. one. I like this, yeah. Like, damn it. Oh, sorry. It's not that hot. But I, I've never actually got to taste the carrot peppers before so I like this one better than that one that one was like that's actually really good <coughs> I can just one, keep eating this by the spoonful this is pretty good it's not hot <laughs> it's mildly spicy but yeah as you can tell she's gonna eat it by the spoonful <laughs> and I'm gonna eat it by the taco by the tortilla by the, <laughs> by the tortilla chip full but it's good <laughs> It's got, All right, one more. I'll put it away. That is really good. It's got like this one's car it's, carroty, like the other one, but it's, it's not tangy and fruity at the same time. Yeah, it's got other flavors. Like the other one, the Daz Good is like too much, way too much on the carrot. Not enough on the hot. It, so like all the flavors weren't balanced correctly. This one goes in layers. Like you taste the carrot, but it's not just overwhelmingly carrot. It mm -hmm. tastes like the vinegar is the first, like, blast you get, and it's kind of tangy, mm -hmm. which kind of turns into a carrot, and then... And then goes Which is something spice. that I'm assuming is the pepper, because I can't... I can't define the taste. Quit drinking my Red Bull! <laughs> Pour hot sauce in your eye, fool! <laughs> Jeez! So, out of the six, I think we like the... The Jersey Bonfire Hot Sauce, the Smoked Ghost Taco. So this that, is that one was excellent. This one was awesome. Uh, the Rock is... The, the Rock is Dockus. We liked that one. That's the one that we just had. The Lucky Dog. The Lucky it smells Dog. Smells gross. Don't smell it. Just taste it. Well, smell it. You're going to know what you smell when you smell it. So smell it, but it's not... It's going to smell like something you don't want to eat, but you definitely want to eat that one. And then we had the Gold the Gold Coast. Really good, too. This one's really good. I'd probably buy that one again, too. So that's really, really good. And then <laughs> really? This one was like, eh. I don't even remember how I felt about it. Because, oh, I remember. Yeah, it was super mild. Oh, yeah, mild. this is that super mild one. It was just kind of like, eh, and blah. It was, I don't know if it was worth putting in the box. <laughs> I mean, I, I probably would have picked a different one. Yeah. There's just the... The bottle logo reminds me of like Heinz ketchup, like that weird Heinz logo. I'm gonna try this fatality one again because I don't recall if I actually tasted the pepper itself. Mind you, I've tasted fatalities ah, straight off the bush before. Right. Funny story, I grew a plant thinking it was a hot lemon pepper because that's what the seed package said. The plant came out weird. Because I've grown them before, I knew what the plant looked like, so this was not a hot lemon pepper plant. Well, I gave it a chance, I let it grow, it grew some yellow peppers, but they didn't quite look the same. So I pick them and I chop them up and I put them in some salt and vinegar, and I take the tiniest little sliver of one and put it on a chicken wrap. And oh my god, that thing had me in tears. I had to hold my lips in a glass of milk for like 30 minutes before the burning would stop. It was intense. Right. 
So be careful when you buy from the Fuego box. Um, if you're gonna buy it's individuals, if you're gonna buy the individuals like we do, recommend check out the videos. That way you can see kind of like a reaction on it before you buy it. That way you don't uh, buy something that you don't That's want. Right. Like you don't want to waste your money and like buy something because like we go through flavors, taste. As soon as we get this whole thing kind of set up, we're gonna we're gonna bring in I don't know what we're we gonna do chicken probably chicken and beef. Like I want to do some beef ones. So if we do get stuff that's like on beef, so basically we're gonna make meals that these things. Some of these things come with like these little card things and then on the bottom of it it'll tell you like like what to use it on so it'll tell you like what meals like this one's tacos nachos omelets you know so we're That's gonna make idea. we're gonna make some stuff with the stuff when it comes in and we're gonna try it out with the sauces do, do they tell you um when you buy it does it say stuff like that like what it's good on oh, and stuff. Yeah, there's a whole description and So I think that's what we're gonna start box. doing. So when we box.com is a good place to When we do buy these double boxes again like this, we're going to uh, actually make some of the meals and try it on the meal and see see what we like, see what we don't like. Uh, I'll let you know. So Surprisingly this one had really good reviews. So I'm kinda disappointed that Da's good. There was one review that was not so good, and that one stuck out in my mind, but I'm kind of feeling that reviewer, because... But certain people like certain things, like there are people out there yeah. that actually eat, that like, was my point like that, right? baby food <laughs> and stuff, you know, they like weird shit, and that's kind of like, that's the feeling I got with this, it was like a baby food kind of spice, it was super carroty. You know, like health nutty. Like mm -hmm. someone who was a damn health nut was just like more carrots. But I mean, it. Like I said, it would be good like with a Thanksgiving meal or something, and you put it on um, mashed potatoes or like something that has chicken. that kind of texture. Yeah, you, it if has you that wanted to taste different, here. which would be cool because I guess you could make make up the mashed potatoes and then put the sauce in it and stir it up while it's hot. I would know. I'd pour it onto sweet potatoes, even yams. Oh, that'd be good. Maybe you like sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. I like sweet potatoes, but I don't like them with the mush, the the mushrooms, the marshmallows, and the. I like mushrooms. I like shrooms all day. Oh god. <laughs> anyways, shrooms all day, all right. every day. So, anyways, that was our Fuego box review. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.